Welcome, my name's Finley, and this is the Wicked X Lush Reveals. You're gonna have the most wonderfulest time. I'm confused. I thought we were here to talk about products. Yeah, what are we doing, Finn? All right, guys, okay. Oh wow, what a, what a, what a good clap. Welcome to this very special Wicked episode of Lush Reveals, where I am joined by two fantastic guests. I'm joined by Matt, product developer, Lush legend, do you want another wave? <laughs> and I'm joined by Jess, a major Wicked fan, Hi. a collaboration account manager, and also a living Lush legend. So without further ado, Matt, please could you kind of share a little overview of this product collection? Of course. So we have the Wicked X Lush exciting, some may say thrillifying collection. 11 products, all inspired by characters within the story or iconic places. It's all in conjunction with the film launching in November. Um, you'll be able to purchase these items. But to tell you a little bit more, Jess? We are working again with our wonderful partners at Universal. When they came to us with this opportunity, they shared with us it was going to be their biggest film of the year, and it explores themes of an unlikely friendship, sisterhood, and a magical relationship with animals, which feels so relevant to us here at Lush. Let's get into the range. In this collection, we have two new body sprays. And am I correct in saying, or in thinking, that these have been created by Elena? That's correct, yes. One of our in-house perfumers. Jess, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about these body sprays? I can. So we've got two new body sprays for the range. One is called Glinda Upland, and the second is called Alphaba Throp. Alina and the Collabs team spent a day doing a deep dive session with Universal, and we learned all about the Wicked franchise. Alina was so inspired by the girls' personalities that she made bespoke body sprays to match their characters. The first body spray is called Glinda Upland, with notes of rose, pistachio, and vanilla. This is a super sweet fragrance to match Glinda's personality. And then we have Elphaba Throp. The second fragrance is very earthy, very woody, but also has notes of pink pepper and citrus. So it's very spicy and mysterious, just like Elphaba. But another thing that's really great about both of these body sprays is that they have been designed to work really well and complement each other together. So you can wear them together. Yes, Alina has created these fragrances to be layered to create a third unique fragrance. So we encourage our customers to purchase both and wear them together. So we actually don't have a name for, for when these two body sprays are combined. So this is a shout out to the community. Let us know in the comments what you think the name of these two body sprays combined should be. Do you have any thoughts on what the name should be? We don't. However, what we have done is combine those two scents and created a scent for this bath bomb. Pink, this is good with green. Fantabulous. <laughs> yes. So as I said, pink, this is good with green. Uh, this was a fun product, one of the first products mm. we worked on. We chose pink, this is good with green as our main marketing tagline. But we did have some challenges, didn't we, Matt? We did. Trying to create this bath bomb. Please elaborate more. You, you cannot leave us in the lurch. So we must know. <laughs> pink and green, traditionally, put them together, you have a brown colour that comes out. Mm -hmm. So we had to think of ways, um, using the experience from people that have been in Lush for a long time, so other inventors, um, to help us with this challenge. So one of the ways we got around the pink and green not going brown is we've used salts to make them look more like emeralds by adding that green luster. And then the overall bar bomb is pink. And then that, just that combination is great for that friendship between the two characters, pink and green. Now, speaking of emeralds and emerald green, there's a, there's, a, there's a product in this collection that's really caught my eye. And I think it will catch the attention and the eyes of, well, you, the audience. And that is Emerald City Soap. So yes, the Emerald City Soap. Uh, again, this is one of the uh, one of the first products we worked on alongside Pink Face is Good with Green. Um, and we wanted to really capture the Emerald City and the Land of Oz um, in this miniature version of the Emerald City. Um, our in-house moulds team, um, they have done an amazing job um, of creating this 3D design of the Emerald City. And then we were able to add a very uplifting soap into this and capture that emerald with the luster as well. 
I just want to take a moment to appreciate the amount of uh, detail that is on this soap. If you've ever made soap, which maybe you haven't, I can tell you that that is not easy to be able to achieve that level of detail. That's really very, very special. They, they have done an amazing job with this, with this mold. It has been absolutely spot on. It's so gorgeous. And it has a new scent for the range as well. So yeah, another one of Alina's scents for the, for the range. Very uplifting. Um, some would say it smells a little bit like cola scented. You have that kind of smell to it. Um, but yeah, it's really refreshing, really uplifting. It's a beautiful fragrance and it really does linger after you use it as well. The, the smell kind of makes me feel like how I probably would feel if I were to actually walk into the real Emerald City. Amazing. It's what, we what we were going for. <laughs> So we actually have an extra special version of the Emerald City Soap to share with you. How do we get this extra special version of the Emerald City Soap? Thank, Thank Oz. Oz. Well, flippin' heck, this is awesome. Are you kidding me? This is actually only half of the design. We have a full 360 that, again, our in-house 3D Moulds team have created and they've done an amazing job of it. And I believe it's about 7 kg, Matt? 7, one half. So the other half is about seven as well. So it's a total, just over 10 kilos for the whole thing. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. I mean, can you grab the other side? I just want to show them side by side, just so you get a, a great size comparison. Look, that is scandalous, that. <laughs> so this leads us nicely on to uh, the next product. Who lives in the Emerald City? The Wizard of Oz. Oh my goodness. Wow. Again, another amazing mould created by our in-house moulds team of the wizard. And I mean, you got to see this in person. Didn't you? We were lucky enough to visit the sets. Um, and once we saw the wizard's head in person, we knew we had to recreate a product for it. We were so inspired by the details that we saw there. But we also knew that we needed a mega sparkly bath bomb in the collection. Um, so this beautiful bronze head of the wizard um, has a gorgeous green reveal on the inside. So you really will feel like you're bathing in the land of Oz. One of the things I'm absolutely blown away by with this collaboration is just the attention to detail on all of the products. Like I, it's incredible. Is that a difficult thing to achieve? With the experience that we have within the business, the, the 3D Moulds team, mm -hmm. the amazing uh, ability they have to take 2D images that have been shared by our partners um, sometimes they get 3D files, but a lot of the time it's just a 2D image and then they recreate that into a 3D mold to, for us to then use for, for our products. Wow, what, what a talented bunch, eh? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> now, most of the range here is naked, but we do have a couple of packaged items. And one of those is the shower gel, green shower elixir. Again, one of the earlier ones that we worked on um, out of the whole range. Um, and this one was inspired by the uh, green elixir that is in the story. So at one point in the story, they ask them what is in a drink and they reference the flavors, melons and lemons and pears. And that has really inspired us for the fragrance for this one. I'm sure you'll be familiar with it, Finley. Can you guess it actually? How good's your retro lush fragrance recall? It's gotta be something pear, isn't it? It does. So it's a scent um, prickly pear. That's the one prickly pear. And we've also um, taken um, an infusion in there of, oh, called Willow Herb. Um, and that one is also better known for any of the wicked fans out there um, called the Milk Flower. Yes, it's a really fun Easter egg for wicked hardcore fans. Um, the Milk Flower is referenced quite heavily in the story. The texture, the consistency is just perfect. Oh, that's amazing. It's very satisfying. That is really satisfying, <laughs> isn't it? I really thought you were going to lick it. <laughs> right, so what's next? One of our next products is the Shiz University Massage Bar. One of your favourite fragrances, isn't I it? I do, I love Angel's Delight. So this was a really fun one that we popped in. Um, you can see on this product, it's actually got the Shiz University um, school emblem on the front. And that is a really key location in the film. It's where Glinda and Elphaba first meet. Um, but as with all our massage bars, it melts into warm skin. Um, it leaves you feeling lovely and soft and it smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that, just break it up. That will be the cocoa butter and the Ooh. shea butter, both in there for the moisturizing. Shea butter we get from um, Ghana. 
again, yeah, just they make up a lot of our massage bars as well, those two ingredients. And there is also some tangerine oil in there as well, which is that nice citrusy note that you get from it as well. One of the other amazing ingredients in this is the organic rosehip oil, which has vitamin C, and it really helps with the skin's hydration. So I feel like this is all around a fantastic product to nurture your skin. And it smells snackable. <laughs> Shiz University is the school in which uh, Alphaba and Glinda met. And now it leads us on to some more products based on those two characters. Um, the first of which is this lovely broomstick, Alphaba's broomstick. This is really special. I wish I had a broomstick this golden. So this one is scented um, with a lovely retro fragrance called Ruby Red Slippers. Again, any of those uh, big Oz fans will get that reference. Um, but it is an old retro product of ours, and we have brought it back and added it into this lovely broomstick product, which is a reasonable bubble bar. So again, swishing it around in the water to create all those lovely bubbles. It's also extra special because I've not seen a reusable bubble bar with a stick like that before. No. So yeah, we, we went um, to great lengths to find um, sticks that made more sense for the actual product that we're showing. But we didn't have it to start with, so what we had to do was uh, I used coffee to dye it the right colour so that we could get it ready for our initial steer of sign off. So that's what I love about Lush products. There's always a fantastic story behind something. It's incredible. So we go from Elphaba's broomstick yeah. to Glinda's bubble wand. I love it. It's very pretty. We took inspiration from this, from Glinda's wand that we see in the film. Um, it's a very intricate wand. It's particularly delicate. Um, and we had a couple of challenges, didn't we, yeah, Matt, recreating yeah. this one. We needed it to feel a little bit more robust. Um, we wanted you to be able to get quite a few baths out of it, as it is a reusable bubble wand. Um, and it also felt super appropriate for Glinda as she comes and goes by bubble. Um, so we knew whatever product we made for her, we had to have a bubble bath in there. So the fragrance in this one, we've got our sweet wild orange oil, some vanilla absolute um, and some rose oil. I've got a fun fact about the rose oil. Okay. Did you know it takes 1.8 million roses to create one kilogram of rose oil? Wow. So there's a little fun fact to you. Thank you. So now we're in the bath. Yep. Can you take us through this gorgeous product? This product, yes, is uh, Elphaba's hat. Yeah. We took great inspiration from one of the early trailers for this one, where you'll see Elphaba's hat sitting in a puddle of water. And we thought, what's the best way to replicate this? Um, and it is a bath bomb. Um, and then if you were to place this in the bath, it will float for a second. And then you'll see this lovely array of blacks and greys, very magical. And then you'll start to see a nice trail of green to represent Elphaba herself. And also, oh, is this what I think you're going to say? It's the one that is scented with Lord and Miss Rule. Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I've noticed that there's there's some gorgeous, there, is there luster in this? There is, yeah. So it is, it's got a lovely rainbow black luster, which gives that, that's why there's some other colors there shining through as well, not just the black. Yeah, it looks amazing. Very magical. Last but not least in this gorgeous collection is the Tiara Soap. So this one, um, lovely story. We've used a tulip infusion for the soap, which tulips are very important to this film, aren't they? They are. They feature really heavily in the Munchkin Land, um, where Universal were very careful to plant real tulips for the set. And you can also see it's super detailed. We were able to visit the props to get this detail. We brought the R&D team up to see the props, and we also had the props come to us. Um, so you'll see we're on the set here, where we shot all of the gorgeous products. Um, and being able to visit the props ahead of time allowed the R&D team to get the great detail in the moulds. And we've also added a lovely retro fragrance to this one, and that is a um, golden pear. Oh, I love, love golden pear. Can I, can I try it on? You can try it on, Of course yes. you can. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Lovely. Oh, thank you so much, guys. You mean beautiful. Beautiful, oh my goodness. <laughs> now, one of the really interesting things that I've noticed about this soap is the curve, right? Um, I feel like there must be a story behind this. So we wanted to represent the tiara the best way we could. Um, we could have done a flat version of it, um, but we thought, why not add a little bit of depth 
So creating that curve in the soap was very important during the R&D process of how we could do that. Thumbnail. Now this Wicked X Lush collection will be launching in November, as well as the film will be launching in cinemas in November too, right? That's correct. That's true. Thank you very much for tuning in to this fantabulous episode of Lush Reveals. And thank you very much to our special guests. Thanks thank for you. having us. Um, and I think there's only one more thing to do, right? And that's thank Oz. Scandalous.